What's up guys, welcome back to Calgary Barbell. Today we're gonna give you some squat tips and tricks. This is one of the number one mistakes I see and that is improper shoulder blade positioning and movement in the squat. So first off, to sort of set up this discussion, we're gonna talk about the different movements of the shoulder blade. So the shoulder blade moves in essentially four ways that we're concerned with right now. That's gonna be elevation, so the upward movement of the shoulder blade along the rib cage. There is protraction, which is the sort of forward movement towards the front of your body. There's retraction, drawing in towards the spine, and depression, which is the downward movement behind you. I don't know how well you can see that, but those are essentially the four movements that we're concerned with. Now what we want is we want retraction and we want depression. And those are the two big things that are gonna help us brace our posterior when we're talking about controlling the bar throughout the entirety of the squat. Now the big mistakes that I see are people end up in protraction, so they end up with their shoulders forward and elevated, sometimes because the grip is too close. So I'll show you what that looks like. If we take a grip that's too close for our shoulder blades to properly retract and depress, what ends up happening is the only way, we, and this is super exaggerated, but the only way we can keep that bar on the back is by shrugging up and having those shoulder blades move forward a little bit. And obviously that's gonna sort of disconnect the bar from the rest of your back and cause you to tip forward in the bottom, loose tightness, any of those things. The other big thing we see, um, aside from just setting up improperly, so if you do see some of that in your setup, maybe try moving your grip out a little bit wider so you can actively retract and depress your shoulder blades. Another thing we look at is gonna be elbow positioning. Generally speaking, now there's always, obviously always a degree of individuality with a lot of this stuff, but generally speaking, what we're looking for is for the line of the elbow, in terms of the forearm here, to be relatively in line, or parallel to the torso especially as you descend into the bottom of the squat. Now oftentimes when we're at the top of the squat, the line of the forearm is gonna be slightly behind. Now we don't wanna be like this, because obviously you can see my shoulder blades shrug up and forward there, but you can see as I go through the rest of the squat, now that I get to the bottom, the elbows are mostly in line with the torso. They're not back here, and they're not down here. And I think both of those two scenarios, either being too far back or too far forward, can cause issues with your bracing as well. So watch your squats from the side, try to make sure those elbows are lined up. A good cue that I like to use is to try to get people to pull their elbows together behind their back. I actually got that one from Taylor Shadget. Um, a lot of people, I think, mistakenly will push their elbows, drive their elbows forward out of the bottom, which in some cases can cue people into the right position, but in other cases will pull people out of position with too much protraction, right? The other thing we wanna be really conscious of is that we maintain that tightness, maintain that feeling of pulling the shoulder blades down into the back as you hit the bottom of your squat. That's the number one place where people will lose it and loosen up, and I'll show you what that looks like. So people will be just fine out of the rack. They'll be just fine most of the descent. And then as they hit the bottom, we get this. As we come up, we get this. And that's when people end up getting into like a squat morning. We might see a bit of knee collapse just from the, the looseness of that position. So really important that as we get to the bottom and as we change directions, we maintain and focus on that tightness in the upper back and pulling that bar down into position as well as maintaining shoulder blade positioning. All right guys, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a like if you liked it. If you have any questions about anything in the video, leave them in the comments below. Share it with your friends. Hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more stuff. And one last shameless plug, we did have our classic launch on June 15th. So all of our classic logo apparel is available. Thick hats, head over to calgarybarbell.com apparel to check that out. See ya.